four five overs early if she really gets in and takes control use of the feet shimmies down the wicket meets it on the four and manipulates it almost shovels it round the corner for four lovely stuff this brits putting some pressure on early that's what she's there for advances down the wicket and a boundary so really good work here you know there's there's bigger fish to fry there's a world cup to see if she can get up front in that over the top she goes now nah, that's more like tasman brooks it was so easy she's a very powerful woman it was just a nice clip through the line for four power play is done 36 for nine And then she goes reverse sweep and gets it away for four. She's got all the strokes, Tasman Brits. And there she pulls out an impish one to make the over worth ten already. As we're saying, she leaves, she leaves and pulls out that reverse sweep. It's quite a bit of it and uh, off to the boundary it goes. No, I, I, I go, I think there's enough to suggest that they tap her on the shoulder and go, you're the one, you're going to open for us. Just go and play your normal game. Pull beautifully out to the mid-wicket, skips away, one bounce, four. There's her power, there's 14 from the over. 50 up on the board after just seven. Reverse swept, oh, beautifully played for four. Second time she's pulled that out, Tasman Brits. She's looking the part today. Nine from the over. They're comfortable, South Africa, at the halfway stage. It's 69 for none. Beautifully played. She's played the reverse sweep twice. That was the best of them. And they are looking really confident, these two openers, cruising to victory for South Africa. Down the walk it meets it on the full toss. Where's that? It's a wonderful swing of the bat by Brits, and she picks up six. It was a hit me ball, it was low, it was a full toss, and she dispatched it with such disdain. A couple of fuller deliveries, a couple of drag downs, but this time advancing. Full toss in the arc, it's gone. Big over here. Yeah, good over for South Africa yet again. 12 off it, it's 86 without loss up to 12. Look how Meet, well she hits that. Yeah, meets it on a full toss and punch down the ground. There, there isn't a great flurry from the back, it's more timing and the use of the feet that then just times it away for four. Beautiful shot by Brits again. And I've been happy for Laura Volfart as well because she got a start in the previous game against the West Indies and, and somewhat surprisingly nicked off to Gajnabi, but today she's been her cultured best. Beautiful shot. What timing! What a sound it makes off the bat. Brits, she has been absolutely scintillating today, but the one thing she's done is that picked the bad ball and punished it. She's a very strong woman. Without seemingly much effort, She's hit a couple of really stinging, skimming boundaries that just don't get more than head height off the deck. Here's one, advance, pick it up. Doesn't get more than seven feet off the ground. Fielder on the, gets undone by a bounce, but it is going with such power. One to get. And South Africa, they get over the line and they make it two in two against the West Indies women. Two wins back to back and Brits goes to 50. Her fifth 50 in T20 internationals and it's been a very good one at that. South Africa emphatic in this performance against a West Indies side that has continued to struggle throughout this tri-series and even leading up to it. But South Africa are finding momentum and they win emphatically here by 10 wickets.